All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So I've got a question to ask you. What's cooler than T-34s, IS-2s, and KV-2s? Hold on, we've got some lag. I wonder why. How about a million Goliaths? Ladies and gentlemen, it is Men of War Mondays. Now, I was on a trip. Our frames are dropping to under 20 right now. And these Goliaths are just going to wreck everything. I basically spawn in... 1 million Goliath production facilities. But yes, so as I was away on my trip, I wasn't able to coordinate with my team for Men of War Mondays. So that being said, what custom units should we build for next week? Also, there was an update to Total Tank Simulator, which is obviously the game we're playing right now. Hope you guys are having a happy Monday or Thanksgiving. For those of you who celebrated it, was pretty good. There's only three KV-2s and maybe one IS-2 left alive here. But look at this. This is what happens when you spawn in way too many Goliaths. Because frames have absolutely shat the bed right now. But I love I love just the swarm mechanics of these things. Look at this. This guy is trying to repair. And maybe one more Goliath and he's out. Oh, he's actually moving. Well, he was. There we go. A German victory. Jawohl, er Herr Cologne. Am I saying that right, Germans? Anyway, so about War Thunder boats or ships for you salty mother truckers out there. I did figure out the uh, torpedo lineup, but you know what I want to do right now is try to play this campaign. Um, look at this, so we, we go with the Russians or the Germans, but what I found interesting is obviously you have the British and the Americans, but my guess is what are the other four nations, right? I'm gonna assume that we've got the Japanese, you might have the French, you might have the Italians, but who's the other nation, right? I'm really trying to think, and I can't think of, like, another nation, a major nation, that participated in World War II. Unless I'm, like, totally spacing it right now. But, I mean, like, you got France because they got some iconic tanks, right? So let's go with the Russians because I feel like I played the German campaign a little bit on my other channel. Um, and I think, you know what, if we got 1,500, I, I think the best thing to go is just T-34s. And we've got 60 left, and we'll go a light tank on the flank and see what happens. We're going to keep everyone clustered up nicely. We don't know the map layout. Total Accurate Battle Simulator has released an update. Ooh, we've got two Tigers and a bunch of light tanks. Ooh, we've actually got an officer car. So I think the officer car, all these stars above it, might mean that, like, they're more effective or something like that. But I'm actually thinking, ooh, I think that Tiger actually shot... A friendly Panzer II and none of my T-34s are disabled yet so I, I honestly think we're gonna be able to do this the old Russian way however I am kind of worried now I feel like we, we got one Tiger down we got one Tiger down we need the second one down ASAP we've only got four T-34s left make that three things are not going well that Tiger is still alive only two T-34s I think we just lost let's see how the BT-7 does we do maybe maybe a few more light vehicles would have been the ticket. That officer car, though. Hmm. Well, first attempt made, ladies and gentlemen, and our first loss. So the officer car definitely does do something. I think it coordinates them. So if we've only got $1,500, look at that. We, let's see. The officer car and then three light tanks. So they had... What was that? Nine light tanks, two heavy tanks, and an officer car. All right, and we had what? Eight? We only had nine total vehicles here. All right, I think I want a few more light tanks. And then I definitely want some medium tanks. But how many, right? That's the thing. Now, do we... We still have $660 left. We could throw in a KV-1... But I don't... Eh, let's get a KV-1 in here. And then a BT... Another light tank. And hopefully the mix of medium light and one heavy is enough to overcome the adversity on the battlefield, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so speaking of overcoming the adversity on the field, which is an old joke for college football, the Gators got their butts kicked. It was real bad. And that's my team, if you're not aware. For those of you who are college football fans, the Michigan-Ohio State game was awesome. But anyway... I think a lot of you here are just to see carnage. Look at this. My light tanks are just getting wrecked. Look at, look at all these light tanks. Oh, my God. 
All right, so we are surrounding this tiger. He's not being able to track that light tank, which is good. Oh my god. This is not... Oh no, this BT-7 is about to get racked. Just straight up racked. We have a problem here, boys. And that problem is not my addiction to the show Westworld on HBO, which is amazing. Are right, any of you guys watched that? Have you seen it? Have you heard it? Look at this. They've got two heavies and a light tank left, and they're mad. All these guys are mad. But they're winning. How can you be mad if you're winning and beating me? You little shits. All right, so that strategy was terrible. Hmm. We could do a Katusha launcher. You want to try a Katusha launcher? Fuck it. Let's do it. Then just do a, light, a bunch of light tanks. All right, so we've got heavy artillery and some light tanks. And we're going to throw in uh, a heavy landmine because why not? Hopefully my guys don't hit it. Hopefully one of them hits it. Actually, all right, so we put it kind of in the middle. All right, Katusha, you're really going to have to be the guy who knocks out these light tanks. All of my light tanks are just distractions, and the Katushas are going to have to do the work. Oh, my God. Am I going to run over my own mine? Katushas are firing. They're inaccurate as always. They're actually not clearing this hill. So this could be an absolute fail. There we go. There we go. Katushas are hitting. So I think it's the positioning of the Katusha launcher. If we put him on the right flank, uh, it doesn't seem like there's as much hill that would get in the way. This could actually work, but my Katusha will have to... Is he just running backwards? Turn around and fight, damn it! All right, we're down to one fully functioning light tank. Katusha did not work, and he's not firing. And I'm wondering if it's just where we decided to put him. But I found this campaign is difficult. You can change, there's a scaler for difficulty. But I kind of like that it's challenging because the totally accurate battle simulator campaign, which I'm in love with, by the way, because the units are just amazing. There was an update on that on the other channel. Um, there we go, the Katusha's firing. That's beautiful. Oh, and we disabled the officer car. I think the Katusha's are just as likely to kill my own stuff as the enemies. But we'll see if this works out better. Yeah, that, that was a, definitely a friendly shot right there. I just don't want him to turn around and run like he does. Now, does that mean he just won't fire or enemy units are just getting too close? I'm not entirely sure. We don't have enough light tanks here. Yeah, they're all going... Oh, is, what is this? He's reloading. Okay, he's firing. Or he should fire. Please fire. Please fire. You're you're terribly inaccurate, friend. Who are you, who are you even firing at? Is this, is this what happens when you fire on the run? Look at that, we finally got one. Yay! Katusha, not the best. And it's $500. But it was it was really cool. And there's the Katusha factory down. So now we just got one rocket launcher left. All these guys are still alive. We disabled him. The officer car, I mean, but the Kugelwagen is still there. So how do we defeat the Germans? They're so overpowered. They're amazing. Yeah, we've got it on hard. Let's go ahead and do it normal and see if that affects things. We had to alter the slider. Just for this map. Come on, Katusha. You must do the thing. Alright, yeah, and I don't really even know if my, like, mine placement is good. Come on, mine. Stop this tank. Damn it. I think my guy's gonna run over it. Nope, it just got shot. It just gets shot. How about some friendly fire rockets? That rocket... I've disabled maybe two tanks of my own and killed one of my own. Make that three disablings. That Katusha did more damage to me <laughs> on an easier difficulty than it should have. But yeah, so happy Monday, guys. So what games are you all playing? It's Cyber Monday right now. Are there any amazing deals that you've seen? Dude, we're already getting overrun. This is just the strategy of Katusha launchers. Is inadequate. We have 540. Let's put in some medium tanks. I think we're gonna be able to get what three? Yeah, three exactly. My math is correct. We're gonna go normal. Now with the T34s, we'll probably die just as badly as we did. This campaign's hard. Did you know you guys can download this for free? Links in the video description. Hope you do enjoy it. All the shots are missing. Is that tiger disabled? No, he's just. He's just turning around and tracking. Tracking enemies. BT-7s. Imagine a War Thunder custom battle with just BT-7s going after tigers. Like, 
you'd probably see what you're seeing right now. The tiger just absolutely wrecked me. T-34 ammo rack. Ammo rack that tiger. Ammo rack. Oh, my God. If he hits you. Oh, you missed? Wait. Oh, shit. Are my guys shooting myself? That's definitely a possibility. All right. We've got one T-34 left. Dude, what is it up with this campaign? You know what? Let's try the Germans. See if the Germans are overpowered. But yeah, so YouTube broke yesterday. So I want to. Uh, this is a huge question, actually. For those of you big fans, big long time watchers of the channel, I want to know if you have not been seeing my video. Like, how do you watch my videos? Do you check the channel? Do you have a notification? Anything like that? It's a huge question of vital importance. Now we've got 200. I'm going to get a Goliath in here. I'm going to get a Goliath for sure. And then let's go with, wow, one medium tank, boop, and that. That seems good. And then a uh, heavy landmine over here, because why not? Now, what are we fighting on the Russians? I'm going to imagine light tanks, light tanks and some T-34s. But this Goliath thing, look how fast they go. Actually, I want all of my vehicles back here. Yeah. All right, we're going to do normal because I just keep getting my butt kicked on this campaign. You have to account for, like, terrain, all kinds of stuff. Ooh, they do have some minefields. There's a little bit of a minefield. Yeah, so do you guys watch on mobile, on PC, your laptop, your phone? How do you watch my videos? Like, do you check my, uh, you know, YouTube URL? I go to Baron Vaughn Games. Or, like, is it a subscriber feed, recommended videos? Like, how dost thou do it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. We got mines. Goliath online. Boom. All right, we lost one to a mine. Oh, that one just got shot. Ooh, that Goliath. All right, so the T-34s are going to be the problem. We do have one Panzer III out there. We need we need a much faster... Oh! Oh, dude, I wanted that Goliath to disable both those T-34s. So the mines were an issue. Ooh, that Panzer II is still alive. He, he was just repairing. Still firing. We've got three Goliaths coming in. The Panzer III is down. He's getting bum-rushed by the T-34s. He's down. Goliath, what are you doing? Hit that T-34. Yes. Now I need this guy to hit this T-34. Oh, no. All right, we disabled that one. Now we've got one more left. Um, once they start firing... Oh, shit. It's over, boys. Defeat. Look at that. The, the damn Goliaths didn't work. I'm getting my butt kicked. I feel like the makers of this game, they're Polish. They're just used to, like, struggle. It's like, you gotta fight the Germans, you gotta fight the Russians. Depends on the, you know, generation. They're just used to fighting. They're used to fighting hard, okay? And us Americans, we got the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean. Those are our natural barriers. Instead of, like, having angry Germany and angry Russia next to us, we've got, we've got oceans, you know? It's, it's been pretty easy going, all things considered. All right, well, that did not work at all. At all. I do not want that mine there. We're really having a hard time. Artillery or any tank cannons? Any tank cannons are three, $300. We're going to put one there. And it's going to kill everything. Boop. Now let's get some light tanks. And that should do it, guys. I don't know. If we can't beat this, we're going to have to... I'm going to have to talk to the devs and be like, Hey, devs, Poland cannot into space, but you guys can kick my butt in this campaign. How do I get better at this game? All right, three T-34s. Always the trouble. Oh, man. Is this artillery piece not going to be able to fire? What's his range? And I run into the damn mines, which are on my right flank. I need to remember that. That's just an oversight. Yeah, we're already we're already dead. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna restart this one. Anti tank cannon, up. What? What? How do I delete it and then have less money? That doesn't make sense. Did I buy an artillery piece? I may have bought an artillery piece. Weird. None. Nothing on the right flank. We're gonna learn from our mistakes. Yeah, I must have bought an artillery piece. So this anti-tank gun, oh, that's why. 
the difficulty slider changes how much money I get. That's really the only difference. All right, boys, we're going into combat. I need my mediums to knock out their lights. I need this art heavy or anti-tank piece to be able to fire relatively soon. Come on, buddy. You're finding targets. You, you will find your target. It's a nice flat field. This is your game to shine. What are you even doing? Not firing. All right, we've got one disabled tank already. He's trying to repair. The anti-tank gun, which I'm basically banking on, has missed twice. Don't track a light tank. There we go, first kill. All right, and now they're not focused here. Ooh, we hit a T-34. Did we disable it? Didn't look like it. There we go, another light tank down. I feel like these anti-tank guns. Ooh, he's really starting to pay his dues. Right in the rear. Okay, so the T-34s are just pretty effective. Look at that. Missed shot. Did you see it kind of curve? Let's zoom in on this battle here. But I think we may have turned it around. All right, both T-34s are disabled. I bounced off a dead tank with my anti-tank gun. There we go. A victory. Finally. Finally, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys have a good Monday. So keep in mind the two big questions of today are... What should we do for the next Men of War Monday now that I'm back from my trip and the holiday, you know, Thanksgiving's over. I spent a lot of time with family. It was beautiful. It was nice. And uh, secondly, how do you watch the videos? How do you get notified that a video's up? Because YouTube is doing some weird things lately. So we might have to make some changes. And, you know, change can be good. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, happy Monday. And I will see you in the next video.